The eruption of the Hagafell Greenlovik volcano officially, I can announce, is finished. It is based on the chart for the depth of the earthquakes that we have under the Greenlovik. This is the old uh, magma rising to the surface. That is finished. We don't have any more any big earthquake. The new ones are starting at the moment, and this is what we are seeing. Uh, what you saw was last week. Now this is today. As you can see here, the old one has almost depleted. The little circle shows that. And the new one at a depth of 5 kilometers, these are the earthquakes which bring the magma, and the rand rise due to that, accumulates. It's a sign of the accumulation of the magma under the ground, and that is going to erupt. I'm speeding up this process of land rise. You see that falls, that was the eruption, then it's rising faster this time. Uh, that means... The level of the alert is now reduced from what it was. The new risk asse assessment map shows that the risk of the eruption in the Grindavik and the old area from the Sundunka to the Hagofell is reduced. Although we know that it takes a while to start to rise the magma, earthquake chart shows that the earthquakes are active. Plenty of the things can be told just about this single chart, probably a PhD or two or three. We know that this... Uh, process is not going to stop. The earth core is hot, is liquid, the mantle convection cells exist, and the crust of the earth, like a crust on a chocolate cake or milk, is this cracked, and it is also pulled apart or separated or joined together, is not going to stop. Iceland is in a unique location in that sense. It's big enough island formed on the top of this one of these spreading edges. The stress is building up there and the place of Eurasia and North America are separated in that part. It's all along the ocean, of course. And this separation creates the space for the magma forming and rising. And when the pressure is removed, you will have bubbles like a fizzy drink and it erupts, brings it to the surface.